Hello everybody, Tom and Gaming here. Today I'm playing the medium and what's cool about this game is it reminds me a lot of Murdered Soul Suspect and the fact that supernatural abilities and mysteries both come into play in both games. But what's super extra cool about this game is that it has the composer for Silent Hill, which is going to be terrifying. Another cool thing is that this game draws a lot of inspiration from... Beksinski's dystopian surrealism, which is why it looks spooky as hell. So, this should be a fun mystery to solve, and I hope you guys enjoy the ride along as it goes along. And hopefully aren't as scared as I am, because it looks like, from the judge of the screen, that shit's about to pop out at me. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. I hope. Damn, that loaded fast. It all starts with a dead girl. Most mysteries usually do. And a monster. Great. Oh, God. No, not a monster, just a gun. Don't let your tea boil. Ever since I was little, I've had this... dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines and then the gunshot it always felt so real the blood on my cheek the cold sweat running down my skin I'd managed to convince myself it really happened this scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. The dark, dreary, and gothic vibes. Dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. Looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Oh, God. 1999. Oh, God, jeez. I'll get used to the gameplay. No worries.
Really, is that all we can see on the, just the table? That's it? Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Son of a bitch. Okay. Let's do this the other way. We've got a tie clip. We've got the funeral key. Combine them together. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Okay, bye, cat. Time to say goodbye. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Yeah. I used to have a thing for him. Don't know why, really. Collecting all the dead butterflies. Used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Did I miss something? Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. That's not at all dark as fuck. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, Pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Damn! Looks north. What else is here before we feed the cat? I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, an old photo room. Oh, photo developing. Jack. Illuminate photo for five seconds. Two, dip and multi grade for three. Three, dip and stop for three, dip and fixer for three. Huh. I guess I forgot about this one. 
I can do it now. Okay, hang on. So it's illuminated photo for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm just going to assume this is multi grade for three seconds. Soon. It needs to stay in long. Okay, I'm sorry. Three seconds. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shit. Anything supernatural around here? Something's on this table, though. Bill Clinton. Yeah, this is... It's November 1999. Man, what a fucking kickback. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. Good cat. See you around. Interesting. 1984. But is it really Orwell? That is the question. It's too torn up for me to even read the back. Wait. Shit, I can't read it. <laughs> We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Ooh, there's a dog barking. Is there any way to run? Is there anything on the other side of this hallway? That is the question that remains to be asked. There ain't shit. Accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Damn, the fields, man. I'm already getting them. Yup, there's some here. The last goodbye. Well, first of all, is there anything else lying around? There is. Yeah. Who doesn't? So it says, is there any more stuff lying around? I can't even read what that said. Need to get out. Okay. Need to get out. I thought it said needs get out. <laughs> Jack's in the prep room.
Well, I'm going to look around first, so... Nothing's jumped out at me yet, so I assume it's just an unnormal Tuesday. Here it is. Read, 1999. Never married. Okay. That's a lot of urns. And since we're going to the other room, this is the prep room. By process of elimination. Oh good, a basement. Cause that's what we all need right now, a deep, dark, scary ass basement. Is there anything I need to grab first? Hey, Jack. Nope, we're just going into it. There's the tie. I'm just stupid. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. you're ready but am I Shit. Get out. Get the fuck out. Yep, it's either something supernatural or we're getting robbed. It had to be something supernatural, didn't it? Or is it both? Is it a supernatural robbery? Why am I stuck? I 
can't move. I, I literally can't move. How do I fix this? Okay, that was a minute ago. I'm gonna have to reload the save. I think I got ahead of the cat and I got stuck on the cat. I'm still hoping it's a robbery. Well, let's try this again. Let's wait for the cat and see if what the hell? That's what triggered me. You felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Ah. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. To split. Marianne, oh, oh, Marianne, are you are you crying, my child? I. It's fine, Jack. Now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. No. It's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> Why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Where is that shh, 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 shh. Huh? It's okay, hey. Jack. Huh? It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Huh? Don't worry about it. Uh, it's time to get uh, some rest. Oh, hmm? Marianne. Yeah? Oh. I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, I, I promised my Damn. once uh, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Oh. <laughs> no risky stuff, then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I, I need... Oh. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy.
I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. This world and the spirit world. But, no. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke, I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, no, oh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. So the plot thickens. But every good story starts with a death. Oh my god, what is with this intro? Jesus Christ. Well, it's not fucking up now. Okay. Oh, I have a bike. Sweet. And off I went. On nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts. And there was something about this guy. His voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me.
Great. It couldn't have been somewhere populated. It had to be Even somewhere. Workers resort. All the way right out of the way. The bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. God damn it. And no one knows I'm here and I just have a bike. Great. <laughs> this is how every horror movie starts. And about my phone doesn't work here either. But anyway, since we're in a safe spot, I'm going to end this video here as usual. Hope you guys enjoyed it so far. It's already given me horror movie vibes really hard. I know that there's more than just me and this guy here. And I can't wait to find out what that is. But hopefully, catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. See you later.